This is a little sound report about the Chompy Club Sampler. And let's get started. If we push up this and then start to record, we can record the microphone. We can see that something's coming in here. And what we record depends on the setting when this is turned down here. Now this is a microphone, this is the aux in, this is resampling, so the microphone is what we're recording now. And we will be recording as long as I hold this button. This is a preference that I can change. Hello. So, now, this is my sample and I'm applying an effect here which I can turn down or um, adjust otherwise. So now Hello. there's the sample and um, switching here moves me into playback mode Hello. Hello. and I'm now in jammy mode which means I'm chromatically playing a sample Hello. Hello. and I can adjust the start point so I'm closer to my starting. And this is now in my buffer, which is button number 15. And if I push this button, I see that there are a lot of presets already in here. Let's say I move to preset number 3, choose it. That means there's an instrument in here and this can be played chromatically and there are three banks of this with different colors and the golden or the blue bank they are quite empty while on the other side there's also another bank of one-shot samples which can be accessed by um, pushing the D sharp and it seems as if there was nothing inside but if I switch the banks I can see within the blue bank there are a lot of samples in here and of course the idea is that I can uh, accompany uh, drums with something that I play so right now the setting is that the drum loop is playing as long as I hold my finger. But there's also the option to copy it to my looper. So if I push the shift knob and then push copy, which is the green button, then I select my source, which is this, and afterwards I select my destination, which is the looper, and then let go of my copy operation, I can play this loop in the looper. And there is always some tape slew effect in the beginning, which means, um, well, it's a nice effect, but I can also uh, change the preference that this is not happening on my SD card. And I can also uh, use this scrub wheel to just manually scratch. What's good about this copy operation is that now my loop has the exact length of the file that I've copied into. I can change my samples on the SD card and cut loops properly in my DAW and then have a loop in here which is uh, which precisely has a certain length which otherwise is not so easy to accomplish because you don't have a clock or a sequencer in there. And what I can do now is accompany this with something else. Let's say I go to my other banks again. There's my flute. And I can play my loop. I can speed things up use an effect
but I didn't record since I'm not in overdub mode. I have to get into overdub mode here. Now it's yellow. And now it's playing a loop. I can also choose a different preset. And this is my loop. I go out of overdub modus, so I'm not recording anymore. And of course I can Turn down the speed of uh, this loop. And can do all kinds of things with it. So I have a very speed option in the loop. And I also have a very speed option for the, for the sample. And if I like the loop that I just did, I can also copy it and then use this as the source and paste it, for example, to number 12. I guess it's all right now after copying. Turn down the effect. So now my loop is in the sample um, memory. And uh, there are different effects, uh, delay echo, tape saturation, and a filter. And if I apply the filter, for example, it's sometimes difficult to see what is the setting, but I can always use shift and north. And that's uh, the advantage to get back to the initial default state. So. You might complain that this is not hard, not, not very easy to uh, read. So if I'm in a zero position or not, this is of course low pass or high pass. But it's an endless encoder, encoder which means I don't have to grab the value um, before it's valid what I'm doing. I'm always picking up what's right there and I can reset via shift and knob. If we push both buttons, our loop will be cleared. And with a cleared um, loop memory, I can, for example, just start something and then end it with the same button and then play something else. Unfortunately, there is no undo, but I hope you get the idea. And push this knob. This is not yet, not anymore changing sample start and end, but release. And this is attack. So what you're hearing now has no effect on it. It's just the um, fading out of the sound. So these are some of the options of the Chompy sampler and I hope you get an idea of it. Of course now only the sky is the limit. Imagine what you can do by changing speed, re-recording, applying effect and re-recording. You can do all kinds of different routings in order to apply the effects before or after the looper, record the effect, pitch it down, etc. The sky is the limit, as I said. I hope you enjoyed this little sound report. Bye bye.